Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, <clears throat> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it was gonna happen. I already knew this was coming. Uh <clears throat> I already knew this was gonna happen. And you can see this from a mile away. Whenever somebody that's new gets hot starts to heat up, starts to get a name, sooner or later, you hear from none other than John John the Don. You know, he's been doing this for quite some time now. Like, you see John John, a lot of new guys, you know what I mean? Like, it's been a lot. Have came, got hot, and then they've had to stand in front of John John. And in a lot of instances, he's had wins versus some. He smoked some. He's had other battles with others. And John John the Don has been like the gatekeeper for quite some time. Bullpen's own, uh, you know, he does his thing. He had a battle with Sue Surf, a battle that he was vying for and trying to get for a couple years, and the battle happened, and it really didn't go his way. You know what I'm saying? And since then, John John hasn't really battled. You know what I mean? And a lot of people have been like, where's John John? When's he going to battle again? We haven't seen him. And this all stems from... A hip hop is real interview that John John just did, paraphrasing from Let's Talk Battle Raps post that says, I see the easy to black captain talking crazy. Nobody has been able to stop what he's got going on. That's where my motivation would be. Easy, just chill. He's talking about easy to black captain, who quite obviously has been on one of them runs. You know what I'm saying? Easy to black captain's run has been stretching over about a two year period now. Uh, we all know what he's doing outside of the ring. Him and Fresh Prince, I mean the Bel Air joint, you know, him and he's got another show that he's in. He just had a battle with Verb. He's doing this thing, he was on the Super Bowl twice. Like, really, 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 really making moves. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, who's gonna stop him? A lot of people are saying, who's gonna stop Easy? Who's gonna stop Easy, whatever the case may be. So Easy the Black Captain tweets, what y'all think about John John? Should I bring him back? Basically, should I bring him back into the fold? Should I get him back busy? Should I should I stand in front of him? Because even though he just battled Verb, easy just battled Verb, right? I watched it again on the bootleg. They got apps for that. And easy beat Verb 2-1, if not 3-0. I'm looking at when I look at the first round, easy had a couple little blippies, but it was like Verb was saying, like, you're gonna need that, you're gonna need that when Easy was snapping and it kind of like, he like blipped over a word or two. No stumbles and nothing too crazy, but Verb's round was cleaner. So it's kind of like, I got Easy winning that shit pretty clear. He's already 9-0 on the app. When this battle drops, he will go to 10-0 on the app pretty clearly. Um, John John, like I said, he's been one to stand in front of a lot of the new guys. He battled uh, Prep when he first came up. He battled Wavy when he first came up. Sent wa Wavy sent Wavy to the next, next, next hemisphere. He battled uh, a lot of, like I said, Jerry West, when Jerry West was um, on his run. I don't really know what's going on with Jerry West right now. I haven't seen or heard from him in a while. Like, I don't even remember Jerry West's last battle. It might have been Loso almost a year ago, you know what I mean? And I haven't seen him since. I don't know if the direction has changed for him. He wasn't even on... This last little joint that they had in Houston where, you know, with all the fights and shit, he wasn't even on that card. So it's like, I don't see him on any volumes. I haven't seen him on a lot of cards, and it's like, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully we see Jerry West soon. Um, so back to Easy, it's like, Easy's the one, the hot one right now. Like, he's hot. Like, he's cooking. Like, everything his name is on is buzzing. He's got the buzz, he's got the glow. And an MC like John John and Don, he's seen a lot of these new guys before who had buzz who had flame, and he put him out, you know what I mean? Like, John John was known as that guy, like when Jack got hot, Jack battled, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody wanted that John, because the John John battle, to most, was like a coming of age. Like, once you battle John John, if you survive and don't die, like, die, 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 you kind of, like, welcome, like, this is your coming out party. Uh, I like John John and Don, I like what he does, I like how he's able to break down opponents, but he's gonna have to—he's gonna have to see a guy like Easy. Because what I will say is this: 
while John John, salute to him and everything that he's got going on, has battled a lot of newer guys when they're on their come ups and things like that, he's never battled a newer MC that's hot as easy to Black Captain is right now. He is not. And a lot of them were, were cooking. Wavy was hot. He had battled Shine on the Summer Mad, on the, you know what I'm saying, when Shine was rapping all fast and shit. And uh, he, Wavy did the, 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 the zombie, got me walking like a zombie with it. And, and he bodied him. He bodied Prep. Uh, you know, he bodied Jack. Like, like he was the, the killer. John John was the killer of the new niggas. He battled Geechee. I mean, Geechee was, but Geechee was already established by then, but he did battle him. That's the battle with Geechee. Everybody always asks, where did Geechee say? And I feel like Vitafly going to recap this and say, God, he caught a 30 on the Don, bro. That's when he battled um, John John and Don at Born Legacy. Um, so, Easy the Black Captain is cooking right now. He's the one. The Oracle, the name. And I've seen, like, I'm, by watching Easy's footage, it's the relentlessness. It's the hunger. It's the sheer hunger and will to win. Like, he's not a super, super punch heavy MC, but he's a real talk MC. And he just, keep, like, he goes into these pockets of flows where he, like, will, will real talk you away. Like, he said the verb, some shit about, uh, uh, uh <laughs> I will not lose to a nigga that takes a rubber band out of his hair and shakes his dress. Like, that, like, oh, he's, I will not. <laughs> Oh shit, he said, I will not motherfucking lose at a motherfucking camp. I will not lose to a nigga that take a rubber band out of his braids and shake his motherfucking hair. Like, that relentlessness and that hunger and that sheer will to win takes him far. Because you may be, he's battled some MCs that might be more lyrical and that might have better punches and that have been doing it longer than he has. But it's just the sheer will to win and the sheer win to continue being one of those ones. Because what I will say about Easy, Easy hasn't really felt defeat yet, like on a big platform. Now, in his earlier battles, like he battled Clean Paper, he battled uh, Twerking and One Rounder, he battled Sway, he battled mad niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like Easy battled mad niggas. I don't think it was Sway, but he battled mad people before. And he might have lost some of them here and there. But since his like proven ground run, which Easy's first proven ground battle, his proven ground battles dropped on the YouTube channel. When they used to drop niggas proven grounds on YouTube, they wasn't really fucking with you like that because the app was coming around and most they were saving like the cream of the crop for the app. If your shit dropped on YouTube, it was kind of like, you know, we'll throw it out there, but we wasn't really fucking with you. But the, the reaction that it got went crazy. Like Easy, I think Easy Battle stumbles too. He smoked him too. He smoked Swag Tanner. Uh, you think I won when I throw when I pick up that hammer, like the captain to pick up, like he was wilding on him too. And uh, salute to those MCs, you know, Stumble's making his, <sighs> he making his name pop pop for everything except actually rapping. But uh, Easy is not a, a, like for John John, I think it's a good battle, John John versus Easy. Trust me, I do, I do think it's a great battle. But in this predicament, just this one instance, Easy is actually doing John John the favor because right now Easy got the buzz, Easy got the glow, Easy's buzzing. John John's coming off of a loss, you know what I'm saying? Like if Easy takes that battle, it's a dangerous one. John John would be the most dangerous MC that Easy's battled. Yeah, he's more dangerous than a lot of those guys that he's faced, you know what I'm saying? But Easy's faced some killers in a short time, and. It's kind of like a battle where Easy could be like, yo, I want Gotti and I don't want nobody else besides that. But I don't know Easy for ducking no wreck. But as far as John John goes, a battle versus Easy, and a, if he wins, it could put him right back in the loop. But see, the thing is, when you want those battles, like the ones, like the big ones, like you get a serve or you get a name that you've been trying to get for years and shit, and then you finally get that name and it doesn't work out for you, it kind of, you know what I'm saying? It kind of like puts a, puts a, Throws a monkey wrench in the in the in the, in the in the in the system, but I like the way John John's approaching it. Nobody's been able to stop what Easy's done, and that's his motivation. Because John John, we would need you on ten. I need you like you want your chain back. Go get it. Like the bullpen vest. Like niggas need all that. Like we need bullpen vest. We need 
everything. I don't want you, see, I rock with Easy, but I don't want you to take it light on him in any regard. Like, I want you to get in your bag, bag, bag. You battle John Jones, you battle Easy, nigga, we need you in your motherfucking bag. Try to beat him. Try to get him out of here. Because it's only going to motivate him. He's one of the few MCs that I've seen that when the other opponent is doing good, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when Chess was like bombing away, easy come, easy go. He's like, yes, yes, yes. Like this is a classic. This is going to be a classic. He just already knew that if you match in the intensity and what I'm bringing, then we can have a classic, you know. Even with the Verb battle, Verb wasn't bad. Verb had some moments in there, but to me personally, from what my vantage point was, it was just easy. had way too much shit, like, in all of his rounds. Like, he was just barking on them. Like, and you'll see the difference. Like, I know we've seen it. The first time it was played, the shit was slippy blippy. Nobody could judge that shit. But they replayed it again the same night, and then I've seen it again since then. And it'll come out on the app. But, like, this is like, in order to get him out of here, somebody's going to have to beat him. You know? Somebody. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's John John, whatever the case may be. But somebody's going to have to. And... Unless that happens, he's going to keep on running down the same path that he's running on. So we'll see. Salute to every single one of y'all that watched this shit. You know what I mean? I think you already know what it is. Gang. Okay.